All right, uh, CJBNE Reviews here with a review for the Griffin Smart Talk uh, microphone adapter. Uh, it's also got a little uh, little play pause button on it. All right, and what this is for is for the uh, second generation iPod Touch or uh, or the new iPod Nano. It gives you a little microphone for recording, and it's got a little plug on it for your standard iPod headphones here to plug in. And it also has a, a little clip here, clip into your shirt, and whatever. Um, one thing that I've noticed about this, it's got an extremely long cable here, um, almost too long. It uh, really, really makes your headphone cable long. Um, the other thing I've noticed is this, it's got a cloth cover over the cable, which you would think would make it really durable. Um, it's not. I've had some problems with it. This is actually the second one I've purchased, and uh, this one is going back as well. Um, let's go ahead and plug this into the iPod. And put up Griffin iTalk here so we can see how this works. All right, I've got it set to record, and you'll notice it's recording fine. Um, seems to work pretty well. You can use the little, uh, little button on it to pause the recording. And it pauses it. But you'll notice if I push it again, it does not unpause it. So I'm, I'm not not sure why why you would want to use that in the application. Um, go ahead and start it back up here. Now the issue I have with these is it seems like every single one I've gotten, which like I said, this is my second one, has the same problem. And this cable gets moved around a bit. You'll see that it stopped recording. There's some kind of short in the cable and uh, Normally I would think this is just a problem with one unit that I would gotten, but uh, both of these have had the exact same problem. Um, so I've actually replaced these with the Apple uh, earphones with mic and remote, which I would definitely recommend. Uh, these cost about uh, $20. I got this at uh, Nebraska Furniture Mart, and uh, they will soon be getting it back as well. So uh, that's my review here. Um, you know, other than that, it's a, it was a great idea, great concept, um, and it came out before the earphones did uh, that Apple makes, which made it really nice to have. But uh, like I said, uh, there's definitely some problems with it. The the other feature of the button here, of course, is when you're listening to music, you can play and pause your music, um, but that's all you can do with it. Like I said, I have the same problem here, where if the cable gets moved around, uh, the music will stop playing. Um, so it doesn't really work well. Um, for sticking it in your pocket and uh, having some kind of control over your uh, the, the music that you're playing. All right, well, thanks for watching the review. Uh, and if you like any of the reviews I have out there, uh, please subscribe to the, uh, the feed through YouTube.